Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Tuesday, August 8th, as we continue to explore the character of Christ. And today we're, we're going to look again at knowing Christ's character so that we can have a better understanding of who he is and what his desire for us is. As today we look at knowing Christ's character as our good shepherd. Our Bible reading comes from John 10, verse 11 through 15. I, this is Jesus talking, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd who does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he's a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and they, I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus uses this metaphor of him being the good shepherd. And in that metaphor, in that parable, as he's telling the story about the good shepherd and the sheep, he, he's letting us know the depth of his care for us, the depth of his character, in that he loves us. He knows us by name, and he is willing to lay down his life for us. What an amazing promise as we know more about Christ's character. Why wouldn't we want to reflect a God who knows us, who loves us, and who is willing to lay down his life so that we can, going back to yesterday, have life and have it to its fullest? As we explore Christ's character, we see him as the God of all the universe, but also the shepherd who is caring for us, who is directing us. Who, who's helping us navigate all the perils that we have in life. Now Jesus compares the shepherd to the hired hand. The hired hand runs off at the first sign of trouble because they're not his sheep. He doesn't care about them. But the shepherd, the shepherd loves and knows his sheep and he's willing to lay down his life for him. It's interesting to note that in other parables about Jesus being the good shepherd and us being the sheep, Jesus makes reference to he knows his sheep and his sheep know him. You see, as we seek to grow and reflect the character of Christ in our lives, it helps to know that Christ's character is that of the shepherd. So that we can listen for our shepherd's voice, so we can identify it. I remember a long, long time ago when I was in high school, I wrestled. And during a wrestling match, there's usually anywhere between two and six other matches going on at the same time. And the gym is just this cacophony of sound coming at you. And, and you really tune it all out. But I do remember one match where I heard my mom. Now, everybody else was making noise in that gym too, but I heard her voice because I knew her voice. That's the kind of relationship God calls us to through his son. He wants us to know his voice and to come when we hear his voice. Not because we have to, but, we, but because we know the Good Shepherd desires what is best for us. I pray that as we continue the study of Christ-like character, um, next, tomorrow we begin looking at ways we can grow Christ's character in our own lives. And, and I hope that it is a blessing to you to know that God desires us to grow because he wants us to have life and have it abundantly and he is that shepherd looking out for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us Christ to be our shepherd, to be our guide, our caretaker. Thank you for loving us so much that you were willing to sacrifice your only son so that we could be restored as your people. Help us to seek to know and hear his voice as he leads us, as he sets an example for us, and as he teaches us how to live in his character. In your son's most precious name we pray. Amen. You guys have a great day. I look forward to growing with you some tomorrow. Bye-bye.